This is question 10. It says given the simultaneous equations 2x plus y equals 1 and x squared minus 4ky plus 5k equals 0 where k is a non-zero constant, in part a show that x squared plus 8kx plus k equals 0. The question carries two marks. What I'm going to do is label this one equation 1 and this one equation 2. I'm going to rewrite equation 1 as y is equal to 1 minus 2x and simply substitute this in to equation 2. If I do that, I can eliminate y from a second equation. x squared minus 4k multiplied by y. y is now 1 minus 2x. I have plus for 5k, and we're going to set that equal to 0. Expanding the brackets, we'll have x squared minus 4k, then we'll have plus 8kx, plus the 5k, and that's equal to 0. 5k minus 4k is 1k, so we can say x squared plus 8kx plus k is equal to 0, as required. So that's the first part done. It now says given x squared plus 8kx plus k equals 0 has equal roots, in part b we're asked to find the value of k. The question carries three marks. I can write now for equal roots, the discriminant b squared minus 4ac will be equal to 0. So for equal roots, b squared minus 4ac will be equal to 0. So let's go ahead and find our values of a, b and c. a is going to be 1, b is going to be 8k, and c is going to be k. So simply subbing this into the discriminant, we'll have 8k squared. That is b squared minus 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c, which is k, and that gives us 0. So we have 64k squared minus 4k is equal to 0. We can factor out here 4k, so if I take out a common factor of 4k, that will leave me 16k minus 1, and we set this equal to 0. So from here, we could see that k would be equal to 0, or we'd have now k equal to 1 16. We're told in the first part of the question that k is a non-zero constant, and in part b, we're asked to find the value of k. So we say that k can't be equal to 0, so we have our one answer is k now is 1 16. In part c, it says for this value of k, Find the solutions of the simultaneous equations. So, in total now, we're offered three marks to do this. At this stage, I'm simply going to substitute in k is equal to 1 16th into this quadratic equation. So, if we consider now when k is equal to 1 16th, we will have x squared plus 8 multiplied by k, which is going to be the 1 16th multiplied by x, plus 1 16th, and that's equal to 0. If I multiply through the equation by 16, I'll have 16x squared, I'll have plus 8x, plus 1 is equal to 0. This is going to factor to a perfect square, and we'll have 4x plus 1, all squared, is equal to 0. So from here, we can see that x is equal to minus 1 quarter. All I need to do now is find y, and I can simply sub this in to equation 1, either in this form or this form right here. So we know that y is equal to 1 minus 2 lots of x, so subbing in y will be equal to 1 minus 2 lots of minus 1 quarter, and that will give us now y is equal to 3 over 2. So we've gone ahead and solved the simultaneous equations using the value of K.